Um, yes, most definitely. Um, especially just being a year kind of into the rivalry. Um, this diff- this year definitely hits um, way different because um, I feel like I understand a little bit now just being here um, a whole year. Um, and, I mean, you taught me a lot about it as well, <laughs> a lot of background. But, um, I mean, I've just been super excited, um, trying to get the younger guys excited as well. Um, so I feel like they understand um, how important this game is um, for us. Um, I mean, we're the two um, big schools in Nebraska, so I mean, we kind of share fans. Um, Jaskers, I guess. So, yeah, <laughs> we got to try to bring it home um, for um, the Husker fans. How important is to have this game at home? Be able to play for your team. Um, I mean, just playing in PBA is definitely the best um, fan base I've ever played um, in front of, um, home or away. Um, so, I mean, just every game, I'm just super excited, especially just to being back in PBA and then just it being, like, even more packed out than it um, usually is. Fred mentioned transition defense is a big key against this team. What goes into playing good transition? Um, really just on the shot, just getting back, and then someone, the first one back just establishing MIG and somebody stopping the ball, and then we really just go off them and talk off them um, about matchups or whatnot. Um, we've been doing super well um, with that. Um, I mean, the coaches they they've been they've been stressing it. Um, just like last game, it was rebounding for us. Um, a big focus this game is transition points because um, that's where they get a lot of their buckets. Speaking of rebounding, you guys defensive boards after kind of putting yourself with the bigs in practice. Uh, did you see that mentality kind of shift not only just for yourself but with, with the rest of the guys to, to be more assertive? Um, I mean, I feel like I'm I'm the hustle guy, um, defender, rebounder, um, for this team. That's my role. So, I mean, I I, I want to. Me and Coach Nate, we set a goal just six rebounds a game at the beginning of the game, and I feel way short of that um, first game. Um, just watching. Um, a lot of rebounds I could have got. Um, just waiting for D Walk to get it. Um, but like I said, he. He's boxing the bigs out um, already, so us guards just have to get in there, help him rebound, because he's already going to have a lot to handle. Fred mentioned that he wants to see you guys as the guards get the shooters involved a little bit more. Have you seen, when you guys watch them, have you seen opportunities for that, and how do you guys find them better? Uh, most definitely. Um, yesterday, um, I talked to Zoe. I was like, we got to get shooters involved um, these next two days of practice, um, just because they haven't seen a lot of looks in the game. Um, cause I know with our shooters, like once they see it go in, um, it's not a, they're not going to do a whole lot of missing, especially with Casey. So just getting Casey the ball, just keeping him, um, in good, good spirits. Um, cause he probably hasn't struggled like this, um, in a long while. Um, so, I mean, I, I just been talking to Casey a lot, um, cause he, he kind of pump fakes a lot. So I've just been telling him just to shoot the ball. Um, we believe in you, just stuff like that. So he, he's, he shot it really well the past two days. Um, I mean, it was something I expected personally, um, just kind of being around Ed. Um, I mean, his girl does my hair, Ed's around, so we kind of have um, talks. Um, so, I mean, just telling Ed to stay ready because, um, I mean, everyone saw the work. Um, so just whenever his time come, he, he was ready to perform. So, I mean, he's been having good weeks of practice um, and really just – like found his role and rebound energy and run. So, um, I mean, Ed's been doing that really well. And, I mean, he looks to carry that on um, into going into the season or keeping it up. You obviously know Bryce and what he's capable of. Yeah. Anyone, uh, have you been surprised with his output of the first two games, 25 and 29? Um, nah. Um, I mean, Bryce kind of person kind of hard on himself as well. Um, I mean, after the first game, we kind of talked. He was still frustrated. Um, Because he felt like he missed a lot of shots um, that he usually makes. Um, So, I mean, just just wanting to be better um, every day and just try to outdo yourself. Um, I mean, yeah. I feel like that's why he's the kind of the person he is. Um, He just pushes himself so hard um, to just be better and, I mean, help do what he needs to do to help this team win. How important is this game for you guys? I know it's still so early in the year. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Especially with it being our first high major opponent, um, 
before we get into Auburn and NC State, um, and then especially Big Ten, um, just try, kind of get that um, taste. And I mean, it's even better that it's a, we got home court. Um, so I mean, the energy is going to be there. Um, so I mean, we're super excited and super ready. Nah, um, I, f I feel like every, everyone's everyone's definitely ready for it. Um, I mean, yesterday I kind of got them a little amped up, wrote some stuff on the board um, about the rivalry or whatnot um, to kind of get everyone excited. Um, but, I mean, we, we've been just competing um, every day, day in, day out. Um, so I think we'll be fine. Um, I mean, personally, I don't listen to too much Christmas music, more R&B, stuff like that. But, I mean, I got, I really have um, PJs, like, for every um, holiday or whatnot. For Halloween, I have Halloween PJs. I just haven't gotten any Thanksgiving ones yet. <laughs> yeah, no problem.